are making bonnets today. So far, this is what I've made. I am practicing my bonnets, working on my bonnets. This is what I got so far. These are the ones I'm gonna make. So help me choose a pattern. I got my music going on in the background. If it's too loud, just let me know. I'll turn it down. But I'm gonna be in my zone. So if you got any questions, go ahead and comment and I'll see if I can answer them. I got this Black Panther boom bonnet. Um, another thing I'm also doing, this is a shower cap. You can kind of hear the inside of it, but this is a shower cap. I'll probably give this one to my niece. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do a shower cap today. But at any time, I can make these bonnets into shower caps. This is one that I've made. I made this one for my niece. And then I also made this baby one. This one's for my nephew. So right now I'm choosing between these three. I might do all three. Um, I'm getting a little faster. So let's see. Let's start off with the let's start off with Ooh, no, I like this one. But okay, I'll I'll do the black panther one. Black Panther, it has satin bonnet. It's the satin on the inside material. I'm gonna pick our color here in a second. I think I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with this. Thanks for joining. I'm make, making bonnets right now. This is one I, I just did and I didn't do it on live. So I figured, let me get my live going. Uh, let me get some light. All right, so. I'm getting ready to cut my oh, fabric here in a second. All right, so I'm doing a Black Panther with blue inside of satin on the inside of the bottom cap. So the first thing I am going to do, let's get this fabric out of my way, is I'm going to line it up. All right, and then I'm going to fold it hot dog style. Flip it and fold it hamburger style. Okay, and this closed part over here is the part that I'm going to use. So I'm going to face it this way so I can cut the fabric with it. I'm not, I think I could do it this way. I'm not going to, I'm going to unfold this. I'm not keeping it that way. But I'm going to get some fabric. Now I have about five yards here so i'm just going to cut it down i'm going to fold it in hot dog style and then i'm going to just give myself a good amount if 
I can't stop stepping on it. It's, it's so long. All right. I don't care about it being straight because I'm going to cut into it, so... I love this fabric, you guys. Like, I wish I could really sew dresses and stuff because that, this fabric is amazing. All right, so I'm just going to fold it like this. And then I'm going to line the fabric up on top. Okay, let me check you guys. All right, so I have it lined up and I'm going to cut at an angle going into this pizza shape in cut it out. Don't mind my measuring tape. I messed it up. So I'm measuring out 24 uh, because I'm, the ones I've made so far, they work. So this is missing an inch. So I'm going to go to 25. I'm just cutting a slit so I know where the marking's at. And then I'm going to come around cut another slit in the middle and just rotate it And I'm just kind of following the slit around and to make sure I try to stay in a circular, half circle type of motion. I don't know why I just got stuck, but all right. I don't really care about it being perfect because I cut, I cut off the ends after the stitch. So I'm going to set my fabric aside. And then you have these two pieces left. So let me see where I'm at. So now we have the two pieces, right? And we're just going to unravel them as such. And I want the inside, the, the outside, to be facing inside. So this is the shiny side. You want the shiny side outside. So we're going to start with it inside for the very first stitch. Now just line it up. Line it up as best as possible. Um, I've seen people use, I, I've been using the pins, but I don't really feel like I need them. So I'm not going to worry about putting the pins in here all the way around, but I do want to hold it in place. So I'm going to go ahead and put one on this side. And on this side. And I think my dog is hungry because I just took her outside, but she's bugging. So maybe we'll take them outside after I'm done with this one. So now I'm gonna move over to my sewing machine. So come with me. There it is. The magic maker. All right. 
right, so I'm going to face the fabric, sil uh, the satin side up. Let me get you guys a better view. Satin side up right now. All right. Now I'm going to line it up. Doesn't matter where I start, but I need to make sure I leave at least two inches when I finish. Let me change out the color. I'm going to switch this to a silver. No, no, but get it up. A small one or a big one? Okay, let me make sure I have a pair of scissors handy. So I'm starting to play around with the different type of stitches. Um, I just used like a double cross stitch on the last bonnet that I made. So this one, I think I might switch it up. Um, I'm not too familiar with these, these stitches. I know I like the zigzag because to me, it seems like it might hold a little bit better. Um, I don't know if I should stay with the one I have. If anybody knows anything about what type of stitching to use, let me know. I've done some with the straight stitch and I've done some with the zigzag stitch. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm learning, but let me know if you if you know what type of stitch to use. And yeah, I just don't feel like looking it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and stay with that zigzag stitch because I really did like it. So put your color in, thread it, get your little footer together. Now I'm gonna speed it up because I really don't want it to be sitting here. Hang on. I don't want it to be going super slow. Hmm. Take the dog out and put some food in her bowl. Just put some food in her bowl so she could eat something because she over here. Mona went goes downstairs and eats all her food and then the dog has no food in her bowl. So she has to be hungry because I just took them outside. All right, I got it re-threaded. I don't know what just happened, but uh, I don't even have it on top. Let me scoot it over soon. All right, let me speed that up some. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. We're about to stitch the first stitch for the bonnet, which is the outer stitch. And I'm using a zigzag stitch right now. Hey, hungry. Now I'm just gonna go around. I'm gonna try to stay out on the edge as much as possible, but I'm not too concerned about being too far out. So. Let me move it out more. I do want to be out on this edge a little bit more than that. That was ridiculous. Okay. And then I'm just going to kind of rotate it as it's going around like a pizza. I don't know why I keep bringing up pizza. I think I'm hungry. I literally just ate. I had I have my coffee and I'm not even drinking it. Yeah. Let me make sure it's on point. Cause see that? 
the fabric under there is slightly off, so I just want to make sure. Not that far. And my, my step. All right. Hey, really, I've been doing so good, and now you want to get me off. But just readjust it, get back on track. I can sit here and stress over with the thread. You can stitch it again. Right. So I'm currently making the Black Panther on it. And, ah! Yeah, the fabric is a little bit off there, so. That's why you pin it, so that the fabric. This, what in the, why does it sound like she's falling down the stairs? Just want to turn it. Now, as I get closer to this other stitch, I'm going to leave about two inches in there so I can unfold the bonnet. Okay, and then I have enough space to also put my elastic band through. So I'm going to leave it just like that. Don't worry about how choppy it looks. Uh, I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut as close to the thread as possible just so I can make sure this excess fabric is not causing any bulkiness. Trust me, I'm only saying that because I heard somebody else say it. I really don't notice the difference. I started off not cutting it at all and I saw some girl cutting hers so I'm like, oh, there must be a reason but I guess I'll, I'll find out. Like I said, I can't tell the difference, but if, if there's a reason, I know she said something about it makes it flat, but like I said, I ain't see any, any bulkiness in my bonnet. Right. I'm just trying to cut off any excess fabric that I might see. I don't want to get too close to the stitch. I don't even know if you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh, okay, great. Don't come for me. I'm not an expert. I am definitely an amateur at this sewing thing. Mostly, I like to do embroidery. But I wanted to make bonnets. So my son needed a bonnet. So I ended up making his. And then I... It came out good, so I want one, and I'm pretty sure I might keep this one. But all right, so you see how it kind of looks like a balloon? Well, we are going to turn this inside out. 
That's why we face the fabric towards each other. So when we flip it inside out, the fabric is facing the correct way. So I left that opening in here. This is not a large opening at all. I could have made it a little bigger, but we're just gonna stuff the fabric through, basically turning it inside out, okay? Whoa. Uh, be careful. I always do the whole thing and then I shake it out. Boom, boom. Looks like a parachute. Okay, this is satin, costume satin is what it said on the box. Um, I'm just gonna try to make it as flat as possible on the ends and then I'm going to stitch this real quick. Now this is supposed to be tying it off. Is it? At least I thought it was. Okay. So now that we have it flipped inside out, guys, there's my Black Panther. Loving it. If you, if you like it, give me a give me a comment. Thanks for joining my live today. I do not go live, but I need to. And I made some money off of my last live. So since I'm not making any money off of my videos and getting any views, I might as well go live. It's just that I don't really want to go live. So I'm working on that, you guys. So once you get your bonnet looking like that, voila, you're going to grab your elastic band. Uh, make sure you measure it for the correct measure. I'm losing my head. Um, my bands are usually, I make them, I'm going to kind of measure it. This is missing an inch, so 32, so I'm going to say 33 inches. I do a 33 inch band and that, that's usually good enough. Now I take a large safety pin and I'm going to place it here on the end. And then you remember that hole that I created? Well, that's the hole we're gonna put this through, but the first thing I need to do is the stitch. So we're gonna go back to the satin side. I just thought about this. I wonder if anybody else does it on the satin side. Yeah, they have to. I mean, they don't have to. It's just the stitch comes out. I'm not gonna flip it over right now and try it. I'll do it the way I've been doing it. Sometimes you gotta go with what you know. But then again, sometimes it could be better trying new things. Oreo, Oreo, TJ, go put that dog in the cage. Why would you even leave her out? You wanna pick up after her? Cause that's what you're about to go do. Go see what she got into in the kitchen and put her back in her cage if she ate her food. All right, so I don't usually measure here, but if you put your band up there, you'll kind of see it's like a finger and a little bit more, right? So I like to make mine two fingers because it gives me a little wiggle room when doing the final stitches. So I always keep my two fingers here Let me pull this through before it messes up on me. Okay, so here we go. Now we're just gonna go around. You wanna make sure you're tugging. 
kind of at the opposite end to try to keep you in line. I keep my fingers lined up with basically the little piece on the bottom, just using it as a guide. All right, I pulled a little aggressive on that one. But you just want to make sure you're tugging just a little bit to kind of keep it lined up. Again, I'm using a cross stitch. I'm not sure you know what kind of stitches anybody else is using. But to me, it seems like this cross stitch kind of holds. <laughs> I'm messing this stitch up. Okay, hold on. This. It's going too fast, that's my problem. All right. Just get your rhythm going. Stay concentrated, stay focused. Keep that rhythm. Go back, you know. Yeah. I'm gonna keep my two fingers there. There might be a better way, and I haven't looked it up yet. Um, like I said, I'm pretty new at using the machine, or sewing side of the machine, so yeah. Now this stitch is gonna go all the way around. I'm gonna go ahead and leave, you know, I'm basically closing up the bottom part of it. And I even, I even overlapped it a little bit so I know it's secure. So it's it's kind of it's a crisscross stitch. You can see on this side maybe a little better. I use a darker color. That, now this is the bobbin thread color and it's black, but that way it blends in a little bit better. And now we're gonna put the elastic band. Now here's a little space I have. It's a little bit bigger than I wanted. Um, okay, but just make sure you keep the elastic band flat. Put your safety pin in, and then I like to just slide it as much as possible. And then once it gets the, to the end, I'll grab the end of the elastic band, and then I'll also grab the end of the safety pin part. Okay, so I'm gonna come down here and grab the safety pin. While I'm holding this, while I'm holding this part, I'm gonna grab the safety pin. And then I'm going to push the safety pin through, just kind of scrunching up the whole bonnet. It's easier to use the silky side because it just slides. And then that's all you do until you get back to that opening. Okay, hold on, I kind of felt my band twisting, so let me just make sure. Okay. Try to keep it straight. You don't want it to twist in there, so that's why I try to leave that wiggle room, but I also don't want to leave too much wiggle room. And let's see, I have to go and fix that. I have to go stitch that again. There's a little tiny hole. That's okay. Like I said, I'm just playing around with the stitches. It's not like I can't just stitch it on the outside. But this is like, I made my son a bonnet, a Superman bonnet, and I'm like, I didn't even make my own bonnet. 
so I had to sleep with his last night. <laughs> but it it these things feel amazing. Um, I'm using a satin fabric, and then this is just a I don't even know linen fabric, cotton. I don't know. They're not reversible. They are one sided. Um, but to be honest, my reversibles don't even, I don't even care about those. All right. Now, what made me come up with this? My son's been growing his hair out for the last two years. I have been growing my hair back out for the last year. I did a big chop last May and now um, he needed a bonnet. He needed to learn how to sleep with a bonnet. And all the ones that I bought from the store that were cheap, a dollar, two dollar bonnet, silk pillowcases, blah, blah. You know, they, they're garbage. So I wanted something that was going to stay on my head at night, but not cut off the circulation to my brain. And I wanted something that didn't mash my hair down while I slept. And you know, this bonnet right here, this bonnet did not do that. My hair is in an afro right now and my curls are still popping. I didn't even refresh my curls this morning. So I'm just going to connect the elastic band, lapping it over, making sure it's still straight. And then I'm gonna put that cross stitch along the band so that I can, you know, secure that together. And I'm gonna go in reverse, but just make sure that's secured. Okay, so I went across with the elastic band, but it looks like I missed this needle and this uh, thing in two different places. So I secured the band. It's not pretty. Doesn't matter because I don't have to look at it. But I do want to make sure it's not going to not going to break. Um, so now we're going to tuck it into that space, and I'm going to fold the fabric, this fabric, over. And I'm going to line it up. I'm going to pin it. So it stays in place. Now there's quite a bit of additional space, wiggle room. So that elastic band is giving me plenty of additional space to make that um, cross stitch to where it won't stitch into the actual elastic band. All right, so I'm gonna tuck this as I as I sew. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this in. I'll tuck this over. Make sure my elastic band is flat also. What the heck? Yeah, I ain't um, ordering at this, so I don't care about that doorbell. They come over my house, they better let me know, because I'll just open the door for anybody. Go, huh? Why would Kayla be at knocking at the door?
No, Kayla went to a tournament today. She's at a basketball tournament. Oh, she didn't go yet? Round up? Oh. That was her at the door? Answered it. Who was at the door is what I'm saying. Oh, someone trying to sell some stuff. That's what I'm saying. I didn't invite nobody over. I ain't answering the door. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not answering the door. I don't care who's at the door. You don't tell me you're coming over. You're not getting no answer. I will ignore you and look at you on my ring. The whole time you're standing at my door. Okay, let me speed this up. Cause I'm not going. Oh, where at? Oh yeah, I can take TJ. Tell him he better put some deodorant on or something. Right. Camera ended up coming over, and so I'll do it this week. You're gonna end up getting your hair done before you go back to school. Okay, I'm just trying to fix. Remember, guys, that little slot I had open. So I'm just gonna close that up, and then uh, cut off any ax excess threads there. Kind of clean it up a little bit, a little bit. All right, and then you're going to stretch it out along the elastic band. Okay, make it a little stretchy. Yeah, a little crinkly there. Now, this one is a little bigger than the ones that I normally made. So, this will probably fit on my daughter's head. You know, she got a big head. I ain't going to say nothing. But she got a big head. All right, so this is the outside Black Panther for life, baby. And then, of course, you have the inside that protects your hair. So go to my website, inglesapparel.com. Link is in the bio. They are $15 right now. But, you know, the prices in the world are going up. So get it while you can. I'm going to put this on my head so you guys can't see my crazy hair when I show you. But I will show you what it looks like. Oops. If I can figure out how to. What is this? Use headphones to hear how you sound to viewers. <laughs> okay, wait, I'm sorry. I hope I don't sound crazy to you guys. Well, good. There's no viewers and no likes. Can I get something going on? I had a whole, I did a whole bonnet. How do I share? Enhance with camera. Okay, so this is this is our finished product. Be quiet, dog. This is our finished product. Black Panther bonnet. Yay, do you guys like it? Super good. It came out really good. 
I made these from home. That took me about the duration of the video to make. So that's how long it's going to take me to make more. Um, yeah. Wait, where did my light turn off? Mm -hmm. Bonnets for sale. Yo, I just made this Black Panther bonnet. My hair is in a fur right now. So. I know I don't have to charge this light. Oh my God, where's the cord? I'm not gonna worry about this light. Back camera. So I bought this new camera stand too, and this stinking light keeps going off, and I don't know why. I just got done sewing this bonnet. It is a Black Panther bonnet. Can you guys see? Boom, boom. It's got satin on the inside. Okay, I just got done sewing it. I did a whole live doing it, and I don't know who watched it because there's nobody there. It's all right. I do it on my own. But I just wanted to come on live and actually do um, something for once. I got some type of gifts on my last live. And then I realized that it was generating money. And so, um, yeah. Now I'm here. I'm making bonnets. I make shower cap bonnets and sleep bonnets. They are I mean, satin on the inside. All right, any material that you want. We got different type of fabrics. Okay, I just made this one for my nephew. Superhero. I have this one I'm gonna do next. This is so pretty. And then I got this one. I'm gonna do one of these two. So right now, adult bonnets, kid bonnets, um, shower cap bonnets, shower cap bonnets. I did this one for my niece. You know, I always start off with the family so they can see your products and maybe share a little bit. But do they? No. It's all good though. I share my own stuff. I like my own stuff. And somebody else will buy it. Okay, it's got satin on the inside. Currently wearing a black panther bonnet. What are you crying about? Damn, I feel like I need to cut my finger. Man, I can't believe I did that. Like, I literally was slicing my finger and just kept going. Does anybody else do that when you're cutting something and you just, you keep going and, like, I literally cut into my finger with the fabric cutter. Let's go outside. Let's do a photo shoot. I guess I'll take y'all on my live to do a photo shoot with my bonnets. Let's do it. Are these all my bonnets? One, two, three, four. And then I have my shower cap bonnet. So I'll do five different poses. 
Okay, you guys are about to look at the sky for a minute because I don't want to hold my camera up right. Oh, I got my spider. Okay. We're going on a trip to the backyard to do a photo shoot with my bonnets. Okay, so camera. Now I wanna grab my mannequin, but I might have to come back for it. So. I just got done making bonnets, so I'm about to go outside so I can do a lightweight photo shoot. Mona, you, why would you do that? You're about to knock over my camera. Oh, I don't have my shoes. All right, you guys. So I'm going to bring you guys outside to my little, this bottom one. But you can have two phones at one time going live. Or, or taking photos or whatever, but two phones. I don't have two phones. I don't need two phones. I see. I might need two phones. One for the bitches. One for the hoes. Is that the same? Or, or uh, okay. Let me not reference music. But for right now, we're gonna do a photo shoot with my bonnets. Let me go grab my shoes. You're not coming out there with me because you're... No. Lay down. You're a bugaboo. He put the food in your bowl and put you in the cage so you can't even touch your food. You want your food? That's all you're going to get. You're not coming outside with me right now. I got to do this photo shoot. And I don't need you running around all in front of my camera. Look at my dog. <laughs> my dog the other dog's my daughter's dog look at her she just wants to be all in the camera let me set my camera up for this photo shoot oh man you guys know what i forgot to order one of those buttons can i get this at walmart you press the button, but it takes your photos, so you don't have to come back. Right. Record, no, photo, okay. Auto, let me check to see. Oh. I guess this one would be good. All right, let me see if I can set this timer. I don't know how I do the display. Okay. Ah, press the wrong button. Um, on. Quality, where's the timer? It was a single frame. Come on. It was right here. Now it's gone. Picture control, image quality, flash, Wi Fi release. Optimal, active lighting, medium, image size. 
No, where? And then why is the police saying my battery is dead? I literally left you on the charger all night. I literally just got a new card for this camera, so it has more space. And now the battery, and I bought extra batteries because the batteries be tripping. Come on, you're supposed to be a good camera. I'm about to get rid of you. It's so frustrating. Because now it's gone. Like, it was here, and now I don't see it. Damn timer. So it's, it's just gonna automatic. Okay, I'm trying to set the timer up for some odd reason. It's not in there. Sorry, guys. I know you're on my live, but um, I'm in the middle of trying to figure out my camera settings so I can do a quick photo shoot with these bonnets. It's frustrating. So my timer is usually in the little option menu. It's not there. Really. So I gotta go into the actual menu, self timer. Self delay time is five seconds, number of shots. Um, I have six different, I'm gonna do six. Interval between shots, three seconds, okay. But it doesn't add, give me the option to turn it on. It just says cell timer. And it's not on the cell timer. This is, ugh. Frustrating part about learning new shit is learning it on your own. Like, uh, figuring it out. Like, you're not, not even. I can't even YouTube what I'm, about, what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to take a little photo shoot with the bonnets. My battery's over here saying that it's about to die when I left it on the charger all night. On purpose, so I can do a photo shoot today. Now I go to timers, AE lock. It's 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 set up, but in my in my menu, it's supposed to have timer on, and it's I don't see it. It was there before. Am I? Manual focus. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Um, yeah, I haven't YouTube anything, so I did figure this out because I did a photo shoot a couple days ago, and it was there. It was in the menu for me to just select timer, and it actually let me pick how many photos. <sighs> make sure I'm pressing the right there's display yeah I was pressing the right I don't want all that up there sport nope oh, okay auto okay Metering, don't worry about it. No, uh, auto, single frame. Oh, <laughs> this should really have to scare me. I found it. All right, so it's under the S, it's single it for the frame. It says S. But I'm going to hit the timer that says five seconds self timer. Okay. 
I'm ready to take my photos. I don't need to turn my camera. And then um, this one has a, so I can see myself in the photo. So I'm gonna get a better position with the sun. Oh, it's super dark. Gosh, I think it's no good. Oh, the sun behind me, right? I should have the sun behind me. better all right so I'm gonna get my bonnet together and um, I definitely don't have no outfit on for this I have a bad posing <laughs> I'm not good at taking photos like, this is why we have a thousand Is it on the right direction? I'm still sick that my battery is basically about to die. I <sighs> the focus. Why is it? try this again. Uh, the focus looks so weird. Okay. I don't even know why I'm smiling. I don't want to smile. Okay, okay. Nope. I don't even know why I'm looking like that. <laughs> Whatever, right? Ain't is gonna take some silly photos because these ones aren't even coming out. Black Panther, this mole. So now I'm gonna put this one on. This one I just made. That's that's a pretty good one, actually. Uh, 
that's two. I know you're not saying you hot. Oh. I can't see. Okay, um, this, this is a shower cap. So we're going to see photos in it. It's made the same way as the bonnet, except I did put a different elastic band. And also, um, it's a little bit smaller than the other ones that I made. So I'm going to have to make these bigger. And both of my damn ear pods fell out. Okay. Shower cap. Ooh. All right, got that one. Now I got my son Spider Man. Spider Man cap. I made this one for my son. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's the angle. I'll leave that back. Okay, so the other two, I'm pretty sure I cannot fit over my big hair. <laughs> 